Oh, now remember this man doing Okube, uh, the DG of uh, Peter Obi presidential campaign council before they call Sakam. See, he get one thing, one thing where he go as Sato. They sack him. No, he resign, come out, and that person take over. Uh, as a resign, come out. Me, I know say he might not come out from the Labour Party. He don't resign, he don't finally resign from Labour Party now. And he never joined another party. Uh, 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 they cannot go talk with na no no. But I be mo na help me listen to Kenneth Ogunwo, the spokesperson of the Labour Party and um, uh, Peter Obi presidential campaign council. They just dissolved the one. Uh, he gets something to say about this doing Okube resigning from the Labour Party when I hit be the DG of the campaign that time before the election. He can resign before he can resign. Uh, they carry they get one or two allegations on top of your head. Ongwa, listen to Kenneth Ogunwo. Now, I wouldn't have had anything against it, but I have reservations on the reasons he gave. I must have to say, that that word, special purpose vehicle, I always cringe when I hear it. Because when we were in the process of campaign, I remembered one tape that was exposed by one Michael. And he said, special purpose vehicle is the vehicle that politicians use to siphon money in the name of consultancy contract award. So, I am uncomfortable with his choice of words. If you want to ask me, I'll say it's ill-advised. Because when you say ideological differences, it was existing before you entered the party. Could it then be that you are an opportunist? Because you said, and I'm talking about what he said, the only reason you entered was to go and contest the election. And the question is this. If he had gone into election and won, would he have remembered ideological differences? That is why you are an opportunist. That is why you have portrayed yourself as an opportunist. Your whole idea is to go in and win election. Not oh. ideology. You don't hear them. They probably wake up to go get with in resignation and say, you say uh, he came into the Labour Party as they say as SPV, special purpose vehicle, uh, where you go use actualize political desire. So to do in Okube, it was all about winning or losing election. So as they don't win, <coughs> he don't Resign now. Make you find where it did rose because the grass must be green. Uh, you don't want to come out from the labor part. So they are all looking for where uh, the land uh, the grass must be green so that they can feed on. Uh, they be like all oh, these uh, full of the herdsmen where they find green grass. Uh, uh. Keleto Kungwa still come talk about this. What is that name? This one will resign. Sorry. We don't go meet the woman inside the state house. What is that name? Dane Boala. We say, hey, hey, I, I went to pay a private visit to the president, to this one, to that one. Hey. <laughs> when they ask for that, he don't defend back to APC now. He no fit answer. Uh, but we all of us know he don't defend, he don't enter. Uh, so, can I to Kuko get one or two to talk about this Dane Boala? Uh, make you help me listen to him. I beg. In Nigeria, after seeing that picture, I think everybody is a suspect, including me. Oh mm. dear. It's just that I've not had enough evidence to convict myself. You know, there's nothing wrong in seeing the president. You don't say no to a president. But there's something wrong when you psychophantically make a 360 degree all the principles you say you hold dear what have changed now the president is the commander-in-chief of the armed forces he has the right to command me to come and see him i would not have a choice in it but i would have a choice to what i would say i would have a choice to my demeanor when i had finished seeing him what he cannot command is what i would say but if he says I must see him, I have to see him. He's in charge of the security of myself, including me. You have to respect the office of the president. 
from where I come from, there is an adage that when the king, when you're giving a message to the king, you can deliver the message. But when you are told to go and carry the king, you cannot go to carry the king. So it is really very pathetic. In other words, they may say politics is a game of interest. Your brand of politics the doesn't game, accommodate this kind of interest. The game of integrity. You're driven by what was your intention when you decided to join politics. I couldn't have left my comfort zone as a movie actor, a pioneer one for that matter, to come into politics and begin to be psychophantic. What else do you want to give me? Fame? Fortune? I believe before you get into politics, you should have minimal of all, of all these things so that you wouldn't be thrilled by them. I would prefer to be called Kenneth, the servant. There is a need that you have to live your life in service of God and service of humanity. That should be the only force that should drive you into getting into politics. You said you didn't like Muslim, Muslim ticket. You left on your own volition. Has the Muslim, Muslim ticket been solved? Uh, when I hear him, he say politics is not a game of interest, that it is a game of integrity. A man that once said, I cannot uh, uh, go by the same faith ticket, Muslim, Muslim ticket. That was why he left the APC and came to the PDP. Now, has that ticket changed? It has not changed. He has gone back to meet that Muslim, Muslim, same faith ticket. Then, uh, voila. <laughs> So that is it too. I say make a report now. Make a report and give one now. As it they happen for Labour Party, it they also happen inside the PDP. You can't be say all road is leading to APC. Because me, I know. All the noise we will not make all this while. All these people that are making noise. They are all reversing now and going to where honey is flowing. Honey is flowing. Because they'll be like, see, look at what I'm missing. Oh. If somebody like Winky can call APC cancer and go back, who am I? Who am I that I can go back to my vomit? Uh -huh. Did they go back to their vomit? <laughs> if Wicca can do it, me too. I can do it. Uh -huh. So Wicca has made that way open for them to tread on that path. Expect more defection. Oh. You know, no. Expect more defection. Let me talk. Up. I'll go see Una later. Imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why Innocent Vehicles has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury, and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent Vehicles, the pride of African roads.